So you would have already seen this in a previous episode. Underflighting is all done. So this was done on Monday. Today is Wednesday. And uh, Michael shot all the footage and I hope you enjoyed that video because I'm looking forward to seeing it because at this moment in time, I haven't seen it because it hasn't been edited. So there we go. So the plumber is in here. Oh, gas engineer, sorry. Oh, no, he's not. He was in here. He's just taking all this board out, drying all the system down, taking all the boiler out. I'll have to speak to him actually to see whether he wants to be on film because he might not want to. And Michael is taking the window out. There now. All that wall's out now then. I've had a good tidy up. That's all ready to go for the uh, put the doorway in and redo all the frame. Dodgy bloke. Um, started doing all the putting all the gas feed in across there, all the way through and then down towards the gas meter, which is the other side of Phil, there in that little cupboard as I've already shown you. Robbo's in there, which I shan't film him because he's in the toilet. Just doing all the uh, setting out for the feeds again in there and the gas. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start putting this wall in across here because we're going to maybe run the hot and cold through it. So I'll put it up now to make it a bit easier. We're going to fetch the fittings for the, the water because we've got to connect this uh, MDP pipe. And then if you remember, we got... I've got to remember not to move too quick, haven't I? And we've got to remember we got to connect this MDP pipe that we put in here. You can't see it. Just about see it there, look. Connect that onto the random half inch copper which isn't very deep there look I mean it can only be I don't know 200 mil lower than the than the floor level originally this rockery type thing if I remember right was all the way through to this sort of point so why they've done that I don't know and then we've got all this here this lot to sort out down there that we had to put in temporary stop end on there and we put this in temporary, if you remember, from the start of these, uh, the loft video, I think that was. Well, this extension video, sorry, not the loft. So there we are. So, so we're not going to get in the way of the lads for the heating now. We let them carry on because they've got a lot to do in a couple of days. We'll get this wall up. Mick's gone to fetch the, fit, the fittings, as I've just said. So let's have this wall up then. So that studs up now. Oh, we just leveled down from the ones that we did at the top, so we've got full support all the way down. We haven't fixed that to the floor because the underfloor heating, but we have got footage and we know that underfloor heating comes through here. Um, so we're happy that we can put a couple of screws over there without going through the pipe. What we have done though is we, anyway, because uh, it's just best practice, we just for, well, I say not best practice, it's more the fact that you know you're not going to go through a pipe. We've um, pre drilled and screwed the bottoms in rather than use the nailer just for that reason because you can't uh, guarantee how deep the nail's going to go you know it could go deeper than you know the last one etc so just want to be careful so this is all ready to go now what we're going to do now is we're going to work out a height of our base units and we're going to put a 6x2 in there to that then form our, our row of noggins if you like and another one up there for our top cupboards and the top of our tall units because if you remember from previous footage We've got, um, I was talking about the fridge freezer and the oven housing, the tall ones. Then we've got extractors and wall cupboards going over here. So we'll run a 6x2 all the way across there as well. Again, which will form our noggin. So we haven't got to put noggins in as an a separate. 
It also means we haven't got to start putting little patrices in with our spear and whatever, because we've got plenty of offcuts out there that will act as that. So we'll just get a measurement and that's what we'll do. So we'll cut the noggins in. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll cut the noggins in now, get that done, all the patrices to carry all the, the cupboards. We'll get on with that and I'll show you the finished product in a bit. Robbo's just doing all the pipe work now for the uh, hot and cold. There, that's right, is it, Robbo? Is that hot and cold now? Yeah, and the boiler flow. And the boil in general. The flue's all through there. That's done. The gas is all the way through. Is gas connected yet, Robbo, or is that yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, that's oh, gas is connected. So that's all in there. Uh, that all comes through here, which is great. That all comes around there, look, which is ice. Right then. So we had a good day at it yesterday, but what I didn't do is film at the end of the day, or at least I don't think I did, uh, where we got to. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn the camera now, show you where we finished yesterday, and tell you what we've been doing for the first couple of hours this morning, and then on to what we're doing next. Now the plumber's coming again at dinner time after he's finished his gas safe um, thing he's got to do this morning, first of all. And then he'll be back to do some more on the, on the boiler and get the hot and cold feed sorted. So let's have a look what we're doing now in the meantime. So the first thing we had to do is get this lock in. Now I'm going to mention materials again. I already mentioned the state of the lead. Look at the state of that. That is what was, we had, we picked it up on a pallet. We dropped it on the back of Adam's truck and that was a bottom board. That's not a sacrificial board. That's what they've given you as part of your 25 boards we ordered. Shocking. Look at the state of it. You can't, that's unusable. Anyway, you had to take some photos and complain about it. We've put, what, 12 quid a board or something? Now it is. 13 quid a board, something like that. It's silly. Silly money. Anyway, so Mick was just measuring, if you just see him in the background, he was just measuring that. We're just going to work out which is more efficient for our cuts um, to get that done. We're going to board one side. All the wiring can stay the other side and the bit of pipe we've got to do then. And we can get to it from the other side. What we have done this morning is we have temporarily put... The, pot, the feed in there, I say temporarily, it's, it's done up to that point now. What happened now is we've gone into a, a strap-on boss around there off the pipe. That's all solvent welded now. And that'll be as it is because they're going to have a 900 cupboard in here and this is a metre. So once the 900 comes in, it'll come to it there and that'll be in the void. And what we're going to do then is this is all, this is all just pushed in. Um, and because it's quite tight, they, they don't leak, but it is only temporary for a couple of weeks anyway. We're going to run it down the wall, round the back, and then come through the back of it so you can't see any of this. And this will be in the void. And all we'll do then is put a bit of a filler down the side there to make it look tidy. Uh, and another thought I said about the plumber coming today, he'll bring his, he's put his teasing up there, look already, if you can see them, to bring his hot and cold down there to punch them into there for us. So that'll be, that'll be live today. And also, today or tomorrow and also we'll have this new water feed back on so that's what we're going to do so we'll get some boards on and uh, hopefully have another good day at it try and get that dabbed this boarded that dabbed and that dabbed so there we are then
major's quarter at the end of the time lapse then, the uh, gas engineer's just turned up. So we're going to uh, carry on, get all the water feeds done. Mick has just gone to fetch the connector for that, uh, or for us over the connection outside, because the one we've got wasn't what it was said to be at Screwfix. Um, it said it was a universal, but it's not. Anyway, so there we are. We're going to a proper plumber's merchant now and get the connection, as I've already showed you for outside, which is the MDP blue pipe to copper. But this is complete. I'm now going to cut um, all the boards now to get this, get this wall dabbed, get my laser out and get it square off this wall because this is where the kitchen's going. So this has got to be dabbed as square as possible with that wall for when they start putting uh, worktops and things on it. Plus, it just looks nice if it's square. So I'll get these cut while I mix, mix away. When it comes back, we'll start mix some dab up and get that done. We'll get the dab fixed onto there, get that wall dabbed in, and then we can then get the guy up then to measure for the kitchen because you've got to go between wall to wall. And then we can just give him an, an idea of where the reveal's coming and he can measure the length even though he'll be stopping a bit there anyway. And Robbo is in here doing the plumb under the sink. That's the best side of him there, look. There it is. Um, and he'll just come with this, get that done for a couple of hours today and then come back tomorrow to finish off. So I'll get these boards cut and then we'll get some more uh, boards on the wall. Not a moment to do a dabbing now. Got the boards cut. Ready to go, these. That one is an off cut for up there and we'll put a strip along. We've got to use as much board as we can now with the price of them. Rather than what we used to do, just cutting them out in wastage. But so we've got our dab mixed. Fire this wall on as square as we can to this with a laser. And then when that's done, we'll move over, put the dab on there. And this is set then, and then tomorrow the plumber can put come along, set his tap, put the bib tap through for the outside tap, and we get it all tested. So we'll get on with this then. Oh, one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. Didn't give it a thought, you wouldn't have seen it because this board's in the way. All I've done, because this is my kitchen, my main kitchen area, I've just set my laser and we've got a measurement that end, same measurement this end with that line there. And I've knocked that, so that's not right now, so ignore, I know it's not right. And then what we've done is, with the laser, the crosshairs, we've just measured from this end to this end of the board and made sure it's parallel. So we now know that corner is square when we put our kitchen in. That's set, that's flat and level. And all I do now is I can then use my derby now to come off that flat and I'll check my laser every so often and then make sure I'm exactly... School, excuse me, just had a sandwich. Excuse me. Jesus. Uh, cheese and... Uh, cheese and... Yeah, no. I don't know what it was. Uh, yeah, and that's what we've done. I didn't realise you didn't see it because what I was doing because of this. That's all I've done, just to make sure that's square because it's me to fit in the kitchen. So I want to make sure it's right. Well, good morning. So after my uh, day away from the job, um, it left in the capable hands of Mick and Robbo to finish the central heating system, get all the water fired up and get the temperature sink plumbed in. That was all done. All he's got to do now is come back and do the waste for the um, condensed pipe. That's it. Mick's cracked on and got some boards on, on there and got the reveals done on there, as well as helping Robbo. So that's good. So all we're going to do now, we're going to carry on with the uh, plaster boarding. I'm going to get that window and that bit of tin back and come out now from there all the way out and then hopefully, fingers crossed, 
the bifold should be fitted today so that can stay out as I'm going to go back in again now and we can continue with the dabbing all the way across put the fire door frame in there and form the stud work in there that's going to form the cupboard that you can inset from this side and I think there's going to be like a six hundred larder or something now I think that's what the, that's the plan is from the customer's point of view the cupboard will come across there and there'll be an inset cupboard there some kind of five or six hundred mil larder like I said the fire doors go in there so this can all be done now we'll cut the sill off there and uh, attempt to take that uh, window out I think that's the old crittle window I think yeah, I've got my terminology right I'll have a look at that um, so yeah we can do all this now so that's ace and then we can carry on as soon as Mick's got us a good base to start from today to carry on and do that excellent Okay, you'll be able to see that um, we've carried on. This is me using my GoPro now. I'd put it on time lapse. However, I just thought, you know what? It's it's plasterboard, and we're having it on a wall. So we've cracked on because I couldn't really stop and carry on filming. So we've just done a bit of a clean up in here, bit of a scrub of all the tools, um, and then we're going to start again now and do finish that. We're going to put um, the reveals on here, possibly. Or we might just do this one. In fact, no, we'll probably do that one and then do the reveals tomorrow once, it's, once that's gone off. Uh, that one's okay, but that one's put on just. And then um, we're going to look at uh, what we're going to do with regards this floor, which at the minute I think it's going to be a dig down a brick, put a DPM in all the way around to seal it and then concrete that in. Because obviously at the minute, that you can see is the, uh, the DPC, which is the old slate. So we need to match, dig down there and make sure that there's going to be no um, no damp to come up, no damp penetration. And then what I can see you doing, like I say, is putting a bit of a trough in of uh, DPM and filling it full of concrete. So that's what we'll do. And then we can run this stud out then and we can pull that stud in there. Just sort of pop outside and show you the uh, end result really of the windows now in. We didn't film him when he came because we were too busy trying to get the boarding done because we've just got a bit of a deadline. Customers back tomorrow. Want to make sure we're done and tidied and we're out the kitchen. So the biofolds have gone in now. They're all looking really, really good. Really pleased with that. So at least we're now secure and uh, borders all working. Just see the old uh, plume kit pumping out there. Um, and then that's all done now. So we're happy with that. I'll show you the end result in the morning, but we're pretty much done other than these, these reveals now. These two reveals, as I said, we were going to. And then we're going to start meshing with that in the kitchen. Okay. Where's yours? In there. Your keys are in there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, to Rossi in the morning. Right, morning Michael. Good morning. So what Mick's doing now, we talked about it a few seconds ago, which is yesterday for us. What we've done is we've removed the, what was the slight damp and we've dug down now, we've got the compath and we've dug down below this floor and we've got to the actual uh, sub floor, if you like, the concrete floor of the kitchen existing. So what we can do now is we can lap some DPM up there, up here, and then fill full of concrete. That's the plan, just to put some, stop the uh, any damp penetration coming through this bit of the floor where the bricks were. 
because obviously we've now gone through the damp now. So we'll do that. And when he was doing it, I don't know uh, yeah. look what look what Mick's found in the cavity. Now, if like me, it's like a time team. It's like a time team, yeah. So people find it. Yeah. And, we, uh, trial of you, you can imagine. You found a chisel. You can imagine, can't? If I come back a bit, however many decades it was ago they built this house. Some bricky, some poor bloke, or even a labourer using one of his gaffer's tools and dropped it in the oh, cavity. Oh, but... Uh, Ten mil, or a 350 mil or so, that is. 300 mil. Ten mil chisel. And there's actually nothing wrong with it, other than a bit of rust. It's obviously had some use, you can sell, but... Uh, not for the last... Uh, also clean that, not for the last... Not for the last 65 years. How many years it was. But yeah, it was in, was it in that cavity there. Yeah. Yeah, so someone's obviously dropped it when they're building and couldn't get it back out, obviously. Without breaking the wall out, so there we are. So we're going to get on with this. I'm now going to set my wall out here. I'm going to put a bit of um, plate down there now on some DPM or DPC and come across here and return it to this line because that's where the cupboard's going to come through here and then across there. 600 mil deep off this finished uh, surface now out in the kitchen. And that's where the cupboard's going to go. And then Michael will get that. We'll get that. Don't know if we'll do that concreting today, but we'll certainly get prepped today. Yeah. I'll get this cupboard in, get this boarded. And then we sort of, we can start pulling this stud all the way through as well, which will probably do that. So yeah, right then, let's get on with it. There we have it. Sorry for the sound rubbish, I'm using my GoPro to try and keep it in the same uh, platform because I get a bit mixed up when I use two lots of my phone on there. So that's all done now. That is now ready to take the cupboard. Once I pull this wall through, which is what that timber's there for at the minute, I'll put a timber up here now and then return that back to that timber to form a, a recess there then. And we'll board all that. And while I've been doing that, Michael has been loving, and I'm gonna say that because he's been swearing, and I don't blame him because he's not me. If you can see, because the light's a bit bad in here, he's been dabbing this in, and that's what we do, look. We put a tight dab on, and then we fix it to here. That's all flush now. Although that'll all be skimmed in now to here, and then it'll be covered by cupboards anyway. That'll be inside a cupboard, all this. And we, like I say, we keep the, the dab tight all the way down. Put the top one on, and that's it. And then that's worked out lovely because our boxing, once, once the um, gas engineer puts his, um, his boss there to take his um, condensed pipe, we can pull our boxing out and return that to where that's finished. So that's it then. We'll leave that there for now. We can just leave that hanging for now. And he's clipped it up out of the way of the customer so they don't touch it. And, uh, and then yes, there we are then. So we'll uh, board this. Get this boarded so it's all sort of segregated then from from there so at least when the customer comes back today this all looks like it's done and then it just and then it's properly formed then the walkway into the what is the kitchen so we're at the exciting part now of preparation for the plaster it's all <laughs> it's always great times so i'll show you what we're doing so firstly the task of removing the wallpaper where we've got to put new skin. So that's what Michael's doing now. I'm going to put um, a fr door frame in there and I've got to finish the bucket across there. So once that's done, I'll cut this back a little bit. So we've got our frame leg in there. I think we had to cut back about 15 mil to get it in. So it's nice and, well, within a cup room and on here. Oh, cut myself already and done nothing. And then we're going to put a timber on there and dab this in, because this is the that cupboard that I've been talking about. We're gonna dab on here. We're gonna fix a timber, fix a piece of plasterboard to that, and then dab on top of that to pull this out to support that corner. And then we can look at things like um, boarding this in, putting the acoustic insulation in it. We're not gonna do this as yet, because we've gotta get a fan through here, into there, and then through a tile vent. That's another job that we've we've sort of set ourselves to do. And then we'll finish the other side of this wall, which I shall show you later on. So we'll get on with it. Footage, uh, probably not. 
it, unless you want to watch Mick take wallpaper off, wiggling his bum at the same time, I there may be a market for it. I don't know. I don't even want to watch that. <laughs> you don't want to do it, alone watch it. Does exactly what it says on the packet. It's acoustic. And it's for petitions. Just put it in then. It sounds like them, doesn't it? If it isn't, it's a fucking very similar sound. Yes, I see this again. It's all insulated then. Had to come off, but there we go. There's only a couple of screws in that so I can fire that back on now. And we have put the cable through there. We've run the cable to, to here, ready for our switch. Um, and then this is all done. And that piece is done in there as well. So we'll get oh, that board on there and let's turn the radio as I walk past. Ooh, I've got those boards cut there now. So we put the timber there. Let me 
you come back so you can see me. I'll put a timber here, fix there and fix there. So that's head and then we'll dab this part out to here and support that. And then we'll dab in this part here, took all the paper off. We put a timber in there because it, all, it was cut back a bit further. And then I put a plasterboard on there, but turn it around so the paper's thicker on the back and we'll, we'll dab that. All I'm gonna do now is get a bit of insulation first and put that in there, in that part there. And then we'll dab this in, which is what this board is. And that's complete then. That's all complete then. We put the structure in there, the timber back in there for some structure. We can now get these boards from here and put them back on the ceiling. But what we are going to, as I think I mentioned earlier, is cut it in half to give us access to get up there. Mick is outside just cleaning the buckets, cleaning the tools up. Because once that stuff goes off on your tools, it's a nightmare to get off. We've um, Dab these in. I'm just uh, luckily that bit of that board there was the I don't know if we showed you when we had the board delivered. The 25th one was well, that's the state of it. Like that. That's what how we got it all smashed, dented, dirty, ripped paper. So I've used the best of it on that because it's in the cupboard, and it's just a shame to waste boards the chocolate this price of them. Luckily that was sort of cupped that way. So when we put the board adhesive on, it when you just need it when we fix it at the back. They're back there, screwed in. We've just had to pull this down with some packers to get it nice and level and flat. And then we've put some more bonding, uh, more board adhesive at the front, as you can see there. And then these packers will be cut off. And then we can board that head in then. And then we've, um, as I showed you before, I put the timber on there, which is what you can see there, the screws. And it was screwed into the brickwork, boarded, dabbed all the way up, dabbed on the brickwork. I put insulation there as well. Look, that's our little recess for the cupboard now. That's 600 mil deep, 650 mil wide. I'm 600 mil to this corner. So if I put my cupboard tight to this, that'll give me my 50 mil corner there off this unit. Because units are actually 570. It's worked up at 600 or 620, 610, depending where you get them from. So 570, going to bring me about there now. Uh, so I'll be able to put a lovely corner in there because they're both tall housing. So I'll be able to cut some um, whatever we have panel. Form a lovely corner there to finish that off. So there we are then. We're going to get this boarded now. Uh, I'm not going to put my frame because we've used the last of the bonding. On, uh, it, yeah, bonding. Last of the dab boarded these on that brickwork there where we uh, we were a bit um, overzealous, should we say, with our cut. So I've just put that in there. So at least tomorrow I can pack off that when I put my door frame in and then put this head in. But we're going to go next door and complete that now and get some insulation done, I think to allow that to go off. Well, we'll leave the episode there now then, shall we? On a snowy day, um, snowed off from work today. We couldn't get in because it was just horrendous weather. And then within a couple of hours, it was all gone. This morning, this was all covered. And now it's all gone. So I'm editing instead, using my time um, wisely, should we say. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.